Good day, good day, friends. Kashan Blyden here, coming to you with another video. Um, hopefully by now, guys, if you've um, been in this chain, this uh, email chain here, you've already picked up the 100% uh, opt-in rate cheat sheet uh, method. If you haven't, I'm sure there's going to be a link somewhere underneath where you can go ahead and get that. But um, as you know, if you've been following uh, that that teaching, that uh, there's a couple different uh, you know methods, a couple different ways, a couple different traffic sources, and even systems that we can utilize to, to generate 100% up to 100% or right at 100% opt-in rate, um, which would, you know, gives us the ability to get more people looking at our offers. Um, and you can literally triple your income and your, your earnings and your and uh, your profits, um, you know, in your marketing because you, you, you have more leads and you have more people looking at your offers. However, as you know, if you've you know, looked at that training, one of the methods that we utilize, one of the systems that we utilize um, to that we can utilize to generate that is um, this system right here. Uh, that Russell Bunch has put together for us a really a cool uh, capture page or funnel creating system. And uh, I thought just to add a little bit more value here, I would like to um, to show you guys a couple different ways that I, that I use it and uh, ways that you can actually utilize this system to create funnels for just about anything that you want to market. So if you're, you know, whether you're you know doing affiliate marketing, whether you have your own products uh, that you're going to be promoting, uh, whether you are you know, doing network marketing and need kind of a front end uh, to get people to your to your offer, um, you know, there's a lot that you can do here. And I'm going to create you know several videos I'm going to be sharing with you, um, you know, over the next uh, you know probably several days or um, you know probably a couple every other couple of every couple of days I'll probably produce a video for you guys and, and and send it out so you can see. But one of the cool things that you can do uh, with this is we call funnel hacking. Um, basically, the best way to 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 get into a market is to find something that's working and model it, right? And that's exactly what I'm gonna to do tonight. So I'm gonna show you, since I'm gonna have one of my own products that I'm promoting here. Um, and uh, you know, I saw a funnel out there that's working. And I'm going to to uh, go ahead and model it. I'm gonna show you guys you know, how we can do that really quickly uh, with this software so that you can do the same for your own business, right? So really quickly, also Brunson just uh, did a launch um, not too long ago where he was promoting a free uh, book that he has called uh, Dot Com Secrets. Really great uh, book, actually promoted it as well. And uh, you know, he did, uh, it was $7 to get the book you know, for the shipping cost. So he had a, what you call like a tripwire offer here, right? So this really worked out really good. He created a whole lot of momentum, a whole lot of money, and the page worked and it converted really well. And um, I have an, an offer where you know I have a seven dollar offer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and and model this uh, and, and build out a page so you can see what that looks like. So if I want to go ahead and get started within uh, ClickFunnels, I'll just go ahead and I'll click on Add New Funnel. So a quick time check. There we go. All right. Try not to make this video too long. So. If I'm copying this, what I would like to do, if, if I notice here what he has here, essentially is a sales, not a sales page. He's doing, he's doing a sales page, but he kind of has it on his order form. So I'm gonna go ahead right here and just create, uh, click on create a sales funnel and hit create funnel. And click funnel will automatically go out and create all the pages that I need. So let me name this, I'll just call this a test for now. And uh, go ahead and create funnel. And with that click funnel will go out and it'll create all the pages that I would need for you know, it's any kind of sales funnels. You have a sales page, you have a squeeze page, which is kind of like opt-in page. You have a sales page, you have an order form, uh, you have an order confirmation page, and you have a thank you page, all right? And there's a whole bunch of different templates that you can pick from for each one of these. And once you do click funnels, we'll go ahead and link them all together so that one leads to the next to the next seamlessly. You don't have to worry about anything. But the way that uh, Russell did this was kind of different. He didn't. He doesn't have a squeeze page. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. He actually, doesn't even have a sales page, as you can notice, because he's doing it right on the order form page. So I can get rid of the sales, the squeeze page, and I can get rid of the sales page, so I don't need them. And I can skip straight to this order form, right? And in my actual site, I will actually want to create. I'm going to create a membership area where I'm going to people can be able to, to get their their product. So I want to do that as well here. I'm going to create add a I'm going to add a membership area later. So you can create any kind of funnel you want, even membership sites within ClickFunnels. So right now, I'll need an order form that I can use. So let me go ahead and pick from one of these templates here. Cool, so ClickFunnels went out and created the order form for me. And all I have to do now is click, click on uh, Open an Editor, and we'll go ahead and start making our modifications that we need. Okay, now I'm in the editor of ClickFunnels. I'm gonna actually go ahead. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete all of this anyway, because I wanna just create it all from scratch. So I'm gonna just use the basic blank page 
to start from and I'm gonna get rid of all of this and even this top piece so now what I have is literally a blank template that I can start to work with okay and if I look at this page that I'm trying to copy I notice he has three main sections he has a top white area here he has a second a middle area uh, with a kind of a background image with an order form in his video and he has a bottom kind of call to action you know hurry up and with a timer and so forth so he has three main sections what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to click to add a section and I'm just gonna copy that down two times so I know I'm gonna have three sections in this particular uh, page here then within each section there's a row and within each row there's elements so here I can see um, unless I have like a, a two row uh, column two column uh, row here because he has a kind of headline over here and a picture of his product so in this section I'm gonna click on add new row and I know I need a two column row but I'm going to click right side bar because it looks like the copy takes up the majority of this area, and then there's a small area here for the for the uh, the book. So I'm going to click on uh, right side bar column and hit add to page. And as you can see now, I have uh, two areas here, and then I'm going to add an element here, and this is going to be my headline text, right? I'm going to hit add to cart. So I have headline here. And then over here, I'm going to add an image. So I need to click here and single image. Here it is. Okay, cool. So, so far, I'm moving right along. <clears throat> and in my second area here, I know I'm going to have two, two columns. I'm going to have my video and I'm going to have my order form over here. So we'll go ahead and in here, I'm going to add. Uh, two columns probably still a right sidebar column again okay and then I'm gonna add my video add a video player so add that page and then I also need my order form so I'm gonna click over here and go back up I'm gonna add a two-step order form boom so it's coming together uh, pretty nicely as you can tell right and Finally, in the bottom, he again he has a split column, one with another headline and one with a um, a timer. So we'll go ahead and add that as well. Just open this; it's gonna make it easier to work with. No, wait a minute, I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and add a row, and again a right side sidebar. I'll add that to the page, and I'm going to add a headline text on one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to add timer he has different types of time timers you can add in here and I'm gonna add a date countdown timer right there because so it's gonna be a limited offer and then I can come now that I have the basic kind of template laid out here to match um, you know Russell's page here I can go ahead and start adding my pieces together so I can see he has a headline and then he has sort of like smaller text and, and so forth so it'll probably be a couple elements here he has a book image here uh, here he has his video and background. So let, let's go ahead and start to put this together. First thing I want to do is I want to edit all my sections. I want to make them full, not wide. I want to make them full page. So I'll do that really quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit my image. Looking for my product. Sorry. So let's go back here. <laughs> go to my images and see where I have my product image page one here we go this is what I'm looking for add image so let's go ahead and save that and here's my image it's a little big so I want to change the image height I'll put it let's say 150 let's see what that looks like makes it a little smaller great and I can go ahead and adjust that I don't like the padding on that so I can Go ahead and adjust the padding or the margins to the top. Push it up to the top. See what that looks like. A little better. Also, I can do the same for my row. There we go. Okay. Starting to look pretty good. So let me come in here. Go ahead and I'm going to copy the. Add another. Okay. But there we go. We come down to the second section here. I also want to go ahead and make this full page. Okay. 
boom all right and we know we have a background image here so let's go ahead and look for something mm -hmm. see what that looks like let's look for something else oh actually we're going to still need to edit this and make it the image we wanted to uh, full center fit there we go I think I want to use another image. So let's go back. Okay. There we go. So the second area, area, and then here we have our third area. We're going to go ahead and background color. We'll get into the blue spectrum. Okay, and then we don't want the text to be white for these, right? Good. Headline. He has another headline and some text here, and then some stuff here. So, guys, I just want to kind of show you, you know, how this kind of comes together uh, pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to offer. So you can literally go out and, ma and watch any kind of uh, funnel that's out there that's getting good results, and you can model them right just headline text there let's see some copy already all right so in a few minutes I've kind of <laughs> mocked this up a little bit here right so he has a headline on top yes I'm not making it exactly like his but I'm kind of following his the overall style right in the bottom hurry this offer won't last um, I can put some more text under here as he has here Add another block. All right, so this will give you a general idea of what you know. You can create a page really easy and click funnels with modeling something that's already working. Um, the next step I would want to do after here, I'm going to show you real quick, is um, to go in and to modify. The, um, the order form to make sure that it's, it's attached to your product. So uh, the system integrates seamlessly with um, you know many different billing options, one being Stripe. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and modify the product real quick on the order form. Here we go, if I come in here, actually yeah, what I would need to do is, and this is a two-step order form. So first step, they'll put in their information. The second step, they come over here. You can have an ups upsell in right at the bottom here of, of this form, which is pretty cool. But if I want to show you real quick how you would add your, go back to your dashboard. All right, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna click on product sales, I'm gonna click on add product. And uh, I've already integrated my account with Stripe, so I can come in here and just put in a name for my product. Billing integration, I'm gonna put Stripe. The amount, this product, the trial offer, this, uh, Offers seven ninety seven, seven dollars ninety seven cents. Currency is going to be U.S. Um, price display override. It's not going to be a bump. It's going to be a one time. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create product. And there's my product. And the next thing I want to do is on my bump on the uh, the up not the kind of the bump offer. Um, with this particular product, it's a, it's a guide showing people how to get 100% opt-in rate. If um, someone wants to also get the videos, the video course and the video training, get instant access, get all of that immediately uh, in their in the membership area where they can watch videos step by step, look over the show videos. videos. Um, and I add that for um, for a little a little bit extra, they can pay to get that. So I go to add that product. All right, and this is again going to be integrated with Stripe. Um, it's a one time $7.97 uh, before the price goes up and USD price display override we're fine and I have to click here that this would be my bump product and again it is a one time purchase I go ahead and create product 
So now both of my products are automatically integrated with my cap with this uh, this order form. So if I go ahead and preview this, and obviously I can go in here and edit this some more, and I still need to add my video. I can either add a YouTube video or any other video I have hosted on any other any other service um, here. And the person as they fill in this information, they'll come here, they'll look at this offer, they'll get uh, the information, they can click over to the next page, add the credit card information. My products will automatically um, be integrated with this to be able to build them. The last thing I'd wanna do, and I'm not sure I'm gonna show this in this video right here, but within ClickFunnels, you also have the ability to add membership sites. So I'm gonna show you really quickly um, what that looks like. So I can go ahead and add a page if I want to, and I can say, uh, Membership area, add that. Go ahead and add another, it's gonna be member area. I'll come back here and I just gotta pick a template for my members area, my members login. So let me come in here and, and this is basically the login page and you can customize these as well that it'll see when they go to log into their um, ClickFunnels account. Not click funnels when I come to log into uh, this membership area for this account that I'm creating. And then member access, I need to also pick a template for that. Okay, so really all I'm gonna do right here <clears throat> is I have my order form, which is gonna be basically my sales page and everything all in one. Um, you know, for a little ticket item like 795, you can have everything right there on one page. Uh, order confirmation, what this typically will do is pull in, make a create a confirmation page and everything that the person orders in your funnel, uh, they'll put links to it usually here, but I don't need that since I'm gonna deliver all my content in a in a, uh, in a a membership site, so I can get rid of my order confirmation page. <clears throat> my thank you page, I can keep if I if I just wanna have a, you know, a, a page that, you know, gives some, you know, thanks them for the order and gives them some instructions to check their email or whatever. Or if I want to, I can just put my member access remember my membership login page i can take if i want to i can add that push that up into my actual funnel and i can move this up so that after they make their order they go straight to the membership login page so they can log into their their um, account and click funnels will automatically you know integrate you know, once I set up my membership area, based on what they purchased, they'll have access to the things that they purchased within the members area. So if they didn't order the uh, upsell bump, they won't get it. Um, if they ordered only the guide, they would get that. So I can, you know, configure all of that right here within ClickFunnels as well. So I think that's all I'm gonna really um, show you. I just wanted to kind of give you a kind of glimpse of the capabilities here. Um, if you want to create, um, you know, something similar if you have a tripwire that you're you're promoting uh, you can create a, a similar page this is kind of a, a template that sort of works um, has worked very successfully you know for Russell so you kind of um, can model it and uh, create one you know very similar it sort of match matches your style uh, I'm in the middle of creating a couple uh, myself right now so you can see this is one here I'm already I'm still working on I have my sales video in here um, a similar style but you know, you can go ahead and create your, your content. These are very flexible. You either use the templates that they have, or you can create your own, um, you know, look and feel style to, to kind of match, you know, the kind of products that you're creating. So anyway, don't want to make this video too much longer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you saw the functionality of what you can do uh, with this with this software. Um, in future videos, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, how you can, So this is a tripwire, obviously. I'm going to, in future videos, I'll show you how you can use this um, same methodology to build out for, you know, if you're doing just affiliate marketing, if you're uh, building things for network marketing, uh, using different fun functionality within uh, ClickFunnels, as well as, you know, how you can build out your own live webinars, as well as, um, you know, automated webinars uh, with the software as well. But anyway, this is Kashan Blyden. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already um, picked up the OptumRate Cheat Sheet Guide, go ahead and take action on that below. Also, if you haven't uh, picked up your uh, free uh, two-week trial of ClickFunnels, uh, go ahead and, uh, and pick that up below as well. And, uh, you know, come in and start playing around with it and making your own funnels. All right. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye.